In the previous session, we spoke about Section A, Visual Literacy, and how we should be aware of designs that we see. We need to look at the purpose, the experience it offers, the functionality of the product, as well as the aesthetics. All of this helps a design to become more successful. Designs go through the design process. It communicates certain things to the audience. And it is successful if the designer uses visual literacy successfully. And all of this contributes to a design being successful. The design process is the stages of creative design. It includes specifications, research, experimentation, roughs, prototypes, revision, presentation and reflection. At school you work with a linear design process. This problem solving process has a beginning and an end. The five phases in this process are ideation phase, concept phase, product development phase, production phase and the exhibition phase. Each phase has a specific criteria where specifications, research, experimentation, roughs, prototypes, revision, presentation and reflection are covered. In reality, designers don't work like this. The design environment has changed so much that designers have to work with other people or experts to complete their process. This is called collaboration. Designers use creativity and emotion to generate ideas. They might want to develop a material first before conceptualizing various ideas. Therefore, the process is often improvised in reality. There are, however, constraints to the cyclical process. For example, time constraints when other designers take longer on their process than you or conflict when all designers in the process don't agree on everything. You need to understand that the design process is what guides designers to design products that are focused on functionality, aesthetics, economic impact and a positive product life cycle. Designers are entrepreneurs. They have the qualities that are needed to set up a business in order to make profit. Steve Jobs said, Design is not just what it looks like and feels like. Design is how it works. The product life cycle follows the stages through which a product goes from inception to decline. The four phases are introduction, growth, maturity and decline. The product life cycle can follow a more cradle to cradle approach as opposed to a cradle to grave process ensuring that once the product has reached its decline it can be completely recycled or reused. The designer can ensure that the product never reaches decline by constantly reviewing the product and clientele's needs. The designer can ensure that the design meets the triple bottom line requirements thereby opposing a negative impact socially, environmentally and economically. Triple bottom line, abbreviated as TBL or 3BL, and also known as People, Planet, Profit, the three pillars, captures the expanded spectrum of values and criteria for measuring organizational success. The designer can also ensure that the material used as well as the processes and energy sources used to make the product are not harming the environment or society. Therefore, when and if it does reach decline, there is no negative impact. The designer can ensure that the product is fair trade certified, thereby ensuring economic growth locally and promoting a positive financial growth for the product. Fair trade is a social movement seen in developing countries that promotes sustainability. The movement aims to help producers to make better trading conditions by offering a fair price for products. In each of the phases of the design process, there are certain activities, processes and communication tools that can be used. In the ideation phase, research and investigation 
are the main activities for the designer. In the concept phase, brainstorming and generating the initial ideas are the activities. In the product development phase, it is important that the designer evaluates, develops and selects their ideas through prototyping and various working drawings. The production phase includes measuring, shaping, joining, finishing and implementing safety. In the exhibition phase, the product is evaluated through revision, managed and maintained, maintained marketing products and techniques, production techniques. The ideation is a complex phase and there is a lot to consider. You first need to establish which designed context you are working in, social context, cultural context, environmental context, or maybe all of them. The business context of design is automatically included in any design, as a design is a functional piece which needs to be sold for profit. It is important that the designer therefore investigates trends, marketing and retail environments from the beginning of the process. They also need to have an awareness of trends and influences on marketing strategies and how these factors eventually impact on the retail environment as well as dependency on the identity of the target market. The business and social responsibility of designers are extremely important. A trend is a popular development. It can be a development in art, music, politics, business and even academics. In simple terms, a trend is the current spirit and mood. A designer that trends the now is one that designs based on the spirit. They conduct research on what is popular and are often assisted by trend forecasters. It is perceived by many that following trends as designer qualifies you as a commercial designer. However, following trends and applying them to designs makes one's work relatable. Knowledge of the trends also helps a designer stay innovative as they are aware of what has been done and in what way. A mega trend is a global, sustained and macroeconomic force of development that impacts business, economy, society, cultures and personal lives, thereby defining our future world and its increasing pace of change. A macro trend is a large-scale sustained shift in consumer interest. A macro trend is more than a fad, but less influential than a macro trend. Since a macro trend affects a smaller number of consumers, it might not have any serious impact outside a single industry. A target market is a specific group of consumers at which a company aims its products and services. Target market involves breaking a market into segments and then concentrating your marketing efforts on one or a few key segments. To be aware of business and social responsibility, designers need to focus on not only the marketing mix, but also the product life cycle of the product. The marketing mix is a business tool used in marketing products. The four major elements of marketing, the product, price, promotion and place. The right product must be found to satisfy consumers' needs at the right price and be made known and available in the right market area. It is of utmost importance that your process is underlined with the design process and production. The production phase is where you will be able to do a final evaluation and establish the degree of success of the product. Therefore, it is important to establish the basics of costing and pricing in the marketing of a design product or service for further sale. During the exhibition phase, it is important to get an awareness of some of the ways in which design products and services are marketed. 
visual merchandising can be created if a designer investigates the latest trends, marketing and retail environment, and have an awareness of trends and influences on marketing strategy and how these factors eventually impact on the retail environment, as well as dependency on the identity of the target market. A basic understanding of marketing design product in terms of target market, packaging and advertising is extremely important.